Colorado's newest citizens were sworn in in one of the most beautiful parts of our state. Estes Park was the site of that ceremony, and many in this group say the climb to citizenship could rival the hike up Long's Peak. Dominic Garcia had a chance to talk to one of those proud folks. Dom, he works there at the Anschutz campus in Aurora. And Jimmy's got a pretty great story going from Honduras here to the University of Colorado. And if you ask him how he did it, it's simple, hard work. I hereby declare on oath. When you get sworn in as a U.S. citizen, Rocky Mountain National Park sure beats a courthouse. It feels amazing. It's a new me in a sense. After 15 years in the U.S., Dr. Fernando Diaz del Valle is finally an American. To hear your friends saying, we're proud of you, we're happy, you're one of us. The road to citizenship wasn't easy. When he came in 2003, he had $600 to his name. He had to use a bike because he couldn't even afford bus tickets. But that wouldn't stop him. When I tell that story, it's more of, of humility that you can do it. I mean, I was proud to ride that bike. Uh, I was proud to be where I am given that opportunity. It was my responsibility to make it happen. After years of hard work, he is now a research associate at the University of Colorado, studying the long-term effects of secondhand smoke. But that's not all this country gave him. It gave me my wife, it gave me my family, it gave me my friends. Like so many others at this ceremony, he says if you are willing to put in the work, anything's possible. It didn't hit me until I finished my oath of allegiance and I even have a pause where my hand is still up and, and I have this sense of crying and I realize, yes, this is actually finally happened. Now, 36 countries were represented in that ceremony, including Armenia, Congo and Nepal. And Rocky Mountain National Park has been hosting those ceremonies since 2006. In Aurora, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.